because this is the problem. And we shall further understand the best in using discussion and signing. Oh, meet, meet, meet. Hey, come with me, come with me. Stand! 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 Go! Hey guys! What's up? I have a new learning! What is that? Uh, it's about digital modulation called DPSC. Binary phase shift key. Sounds interesting. Uh, well, let me explain to you guys now. So, uh, BPSK is a digital modulation technique. Uh, it can base data in the the phase of a reference signal, like this. UPSK is the most simple method of digital modulation technique to encode data in a phase, in a phase signal reference. So it uses a positive and negative 180 degrees. And its constellation block is like this. Still don't get it? But yes. We only had two that we sent earlier that we have a can you see it? Uh, so, come and join me guys and I will simulate it using Simulink for you to better understand. Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. First, we have to gather all the blocks that we will be needed to our BPSK simulation. First is the sine wave function. Sine wave function gives us the sine sinusoidal or carrier frequency. Pulse generator gives the square wave pulses at regular intervals. Gain generates its output by multiplying its input by a specified gain factor. Switch combines multiple signals into one signal. Then max combines its inputs into a single output. And last, scope that display the simulation result. Place or position all the blocks that we have gathered to a place where you are comfortable. This will give you a better execution blocks. Go to the setting of the scope and change the number of axes to 5. Later on, we will be seeing Five sets of signal in our scope as we change the number of axes. Click the switch block to display the function block parameters. Change the criteria for passing first input U2 greater than threshold. Press apply then click. Click the gain and change it to negative 1. Press apply then OK. Click the sine wave function block and change the time to use simulation time. The frequency to 6 pi rad per second. And sample time to 0.01. Plus apply, then OK. Lastly, the pulse generator. The period will be changed to and pulse width to 50%. Press apply, then OK. And now, we will be connecting all the blocks and make sure that all the connection is right so that the output waveform will appear. As you can see, we will be connecting the gain to the lower part of the switch. The pulse generator the middle part of the switch and we will be connecting also the sine wave function to the switch we will be connecting the sine wave function go that will be this that will display our sine wave or the carrier frequency. The pulse generator to the scope.
then connect the switch to the scope also the MOX that connects to the pulse generator and the switch to see the output waveform of the binary phase shift key we just need to press the play button then click and maximize the scope enlarge the waveforms and there we have it the binary phase shift keying output waveform along with the carrier frequency in binary input. Cybernic is a graphical programming for modeling, simulating, and analyzing for dynamic system, which is essential for us in Cybelink is a program for simulation of dynamic systems that provide graphical interface. Cybelink is a programming tool that was developed by Nantua and it helps us to model a simulated system used for image processing and modulation. Cybelink tool helps us to program a graphical binary patient to use like the way So once again, I am an absolute analogy. I'm Doris Nalawek. I'm Justine Santos. I'm Carlos Jolomel C. Santos. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Adil M. Santana Jr. I'm Jono Secretario. I'm Doris Nalawek. I'm Justine Santos. I'm Carlos Jolomel C. Santos. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.